So I have this idea and part of me feels like it might be a bad one, but like there's only one way to find out. What's up? So I figured I wanted to vlog this week. I It's a random week kind of and I just felt like I'm doing enough things this week that would be really fun for me to vlog. Um, it is technically my birthday week and I have no plans for my birthday, but I just, I'm seeking out to make this week enjoyable. That's really all I care about and ask for. I don't know, I'm still working on if I want to do anything for my birthday, but I figured this will be a fun week to to vlog. And I'm like, I really hope I don't just like end up staying at home in bed just like chilling, relaxing, cause I'm like, that might kind of be like a sad birthday, but also, I don't know, maybe like by the time my birthday rolls around, maybe that's how I'm feeling. You know, I think when you get to a certain age, your birthday, yes, it's exciting, but like also you kind of just want to do what you want to do. So like sometimes I really just want to not do anything and other times I want to really go out and go balls to the ball. I don't know, we'll see what this week holds, but it's Sunday. So actually right now, Weirdly enough, I am about to go teach a twerking class. Um, I have never done that before in my life, but I am doing that today for the first time. So that's what I'm on my way to do. And then at five o'clock, I have a massage. So that's kind of like the first thing in the week for me that's gonna be like for me. So I'm excited about my massage later. Um, I'm currently making oatmeal so I can have the strength to teach this class later. It's going to be exhausting. It for sure is. But it'll be fun. I've never taught twerking. I just know how to do it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, am I nervous about it? No. I just don't know how this is gonna go, you know? So we'll see come what may. Where's my zoom in? But that's the plan for today. It's to go do that. And then I may go get a vanity from Walmart later. I went to Ikea and they didn't have it. But that was also the other thing I, I wanted to vlog this week because a lot of the things that I bought for my apartment, um, I kind of just now ordered the bulk of them. So it would just be really fun to vlog me setting up my apartment. So that's kind of also, I felt like why this week would be really good to, to vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy this week. Part of my birthday present to myself is to become, like have my apartment be done. Like she's gonna be ready. I'm not gonna go into 27 with an unpacked apartment. That's just how I feel right now. So that's, that's my goal for this week. So that's my little present to myself. I mean, I, I also already bought my present to myself. That's in the mail. I don't know if it'll get here in time, but. I put my hair in this little bun because out of laziness. I literally wanted to flat iron my hair this week. I washed it and then when I washed it, I just never did it. I just kept it in a bun. So you could put it in a bun. So I put it in a bun. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I forgot I was vlogging <laughs> this week. It was easier when I was vlogging every day because then I knew to vlog every day. But since I've been so on and off, I've been you know, just forgetting. But I had my first ever class. My twerk class was a success. I'm really excited. People actually wanted more. So that's good for me to hear because I am so hard on myself. So I'm like, no one's gonna wanna learn from me, no, no, no. But it was successful. I just had to go to Office Depot to print something because my printer stopped working yesterday. I'm upset about that, so. I've got to figure out a printer situation or figure out how to get my printer fixed, but I came to Office Depot. But I got this thing. This is so exciting. So since I'm going on tour, by the way, I'm going on tour. I'm going on a national tour. I saw this and I thought this would actually be really perfect for going on tour. It's soaps and suds. So basically it's on the go soap sheets. So like in this little thing, I guess each of these are like a little sheet and then you can use that to whitewash your hands if there's not soap available. Since we're gonna be on the road, I am assuming that soap, you know, it's hit or miss and there's a pandemic. So I am going to get my hands cleaned. 
with some soap. So this is really cool. I'm like really curious. I'm not gonna open it, open it, but let's look at this. I love stuff like this. Like I love things that are just made for traveling and convenience. Like it really gets me so excited. Like things like this makes me want to travel. Cause I'm like, what do you mean? I want to have all these cute little travel things. It gets me going. Like that's just my happy place. It's travel things, small things because then it's travel size. It's, I'm just, this is how I'm, this is how God made me, you know? Okay, cool. So it's this little plastic thing. It's got a hoop on it. Can you see? I feel like the sun behind me. I got this color. It was the cutest color, in my opinion, that they had. They had a white one. This is a little too basic. Um, so I guess you pop this open. It's kind of like those Listerine strips, but a soap version. It's literally that. It smells really freaking good. Whoa, that smells so good. So in here, it comes with 40, but then it came with a little box that has 60 extra. So I technically can wash my hands a hundred times. I can put this in my purse. Like, what do you, like my little holster. I love when things can fit in my holster. People underestimate the things I carry in my little purse, but like, girl, I got you fam. You cut your hand open, I got band-aids. You need soap? I got you. We got lip balm, we've got hand sanitizer. Like these little things, people really think I'm not carrying anything but honey. I carry so much in these and there's two of them and they're like leather and they've been stretched out because I've had it for two years. So the more I stretch it out, the more I can fit things in here. Like, what do you need? You need a hair clip? I got you. You need pen? I got you. You need a panty liner? I got you. You need mints? Fam, you want eyeliner? I got you girl. Like. And that's just in this pouch. This is the pouch where it's like you need a nail file. But did you need a band-aid? No? Okay, cool. I had it if you needed it. Oh, I've been looking for this. Anyways, my battery has been dying. Um, I thought it would have died on me by now. But I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to go grocery shopping and then head on home. I'm really hungry. So I actually, also I have a massage later at 5. So like I want to do all of this stuff, head home, eat something. I really, really want a salad. Vlogging in public establishments with my camera still makes me very uncomfortable. So we're gonna do it on my phone. So that way I feel like less of a dweeb. But I'm here at Walmart and about to fuck it up. <laughs> scale of one to forever alone how sad is it that the only consistent man in my life is my massage therapist <laughs> shout out to michael he's the only man that hasn't done me wrong <laughs> stays true he comes in clutch every time i just gotta pay to see him but that's fine there's a girl here that i like too but i like her for different things like i like her for specific Spots. Like if I have a trouble area, I go to her. But Michael, he's really good at the full body because you get a little bit of stretching in there. So now I'm gonna head home. So I'm officially back home. I just actually cleaned my window because I haven't cleaned my windows yet since I moved in. They're actually really dusty. So since I'm gonna be putting the table in front of that, I went ahead and cleaned it, vacuumed all the cobwebs off and all of that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the table up so you guys can watch me do that.
I forgot to record me actually setting up the makeup, but this is my vanity. She's all done. I need to clean this mirror. I'm happy with how it's turned out. It looks really good. So now that this is here, this means that my counter is now empty. I should have, ow. I should have done it before. Like this was just, there was a mountain of stuff here and it was all of my makeup stuff. So now I'm waiting for my little tray to come in. I'm gonna put all of my little beauty uh, products right there. These are for my face and my hands as well, but that's, it's mainly for my face so that way I don't use any dirty towels on my face. Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I was just journaling and I was reading a little bit. Um, I'm still reading this book, Big Magic. It's really good. I got really sucked into it, but then like right before my move and then I started moving and I just completely lost track. So now I'm trying to get back into the habit of reading it. It's really good. I feel really relaxed. It was a nice, easy morning for me so far. So I think I'm gonna go stretch. Cause I had my massage yesterday and I'm feeling a little, you know, crunchy right now. So I think I should go have a little stretch sesh. about this one but so far so good I need some coffee I'm going to get some coffee now this microwave is so sus okay so I'm just gonna use those folders instant coffee you know when you want to get the job done I've learned to tolerate the taste of coffee like whiskeys the alcohol in general you can when you've had the good kind you can tell you're like oh so you've been drinking trash this whole other time okay some good old cane sugar i actually have a cane sugar stalk in the fridge i was just gonna suck on it <laughs> like i used to as a kid i'm gonna add some collagen it's unflavored so it's not i'm not even gonna know it's in there so i need to make sea moss honey child you can't even see what I'm doing this whole time. That's so rude of me. My desire to not go anywhere today is so strong. So I got these matches and this candle from my friend for Christmas. There's actually crystals in here, but they melted every time I light it, but they were sitting on top. So when all of the uh, wax is melted, you can see it. It's a wood burning candle too. I can light these matches with the bottom of this. I like to keep my humidifier by my desk. So I'm gonna go fill this up. So this is my office. I am still working on it. I What do I have coming in the mail? I have my trash can coming in the mail right now. Yeah, I'm just still organizing it. I just know I want a really big fake plant in this corner over here. <laughs> We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. So, package was left at my door. I think it's my uh, 
quilt set though. I like the color. This is rust color, like I said. Getting this out. They packed this so tightly. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna... How do we get this in here in the first place? Magic, must be. I got it out. It's just expanding before my eyes. And, okay. See, it's just, it's thin. It's easy to wash. I love these things. Because then I don't have to worry about a comforter. And if I'm really cold, just put on some more clothes. So that was the only package that was to come to me today. Can't wait till I have everything and I don't want to order anything else. Like I'm not buying anything else for this apartment until July. Cause I'm going on tour. So what's the point of like, you know, like I don't, there's a couple pieces that I want to get. Don't need them. Don't need them right now. But everything that's already on its way, mucho necessary. So now it's like that time of the day where I should probably eat something, right? <laughs> Fun fact, I'm back home actually. I went to the car place, I got an oil change, and I'm back. I was gone for like two hours. So now I'm back home for the rest of the day at, I love that for me. I absolutely love that for me. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna get into, but I would probably like to make some TikToks. But also, I really wanna cut one of my wigs into a mullet. And I'm getting another wig sent to me this week. I ordered another wig a couple days ago that I also want to cut into a mullet. Um, the last four hours has been so eventful. I've cried twice. I went to my uh, old apartment because the package was sent there on accident. Brought that back. I also got three other packages in the mail today. But then my, uh, my distress earlier was there was this one package I was waiting for that they said they attempted to deliver but it wouldn't, it, my mailbox was full, which is not the case. The mailbox was not full. The package is just too big for the mailbox. And so it said that they would try again. So I'm like, why didn't you bring it to my door? So like now I'm angry because why didn't you bring my package to my door? It's clearly not gonna fit in the mailbox. So like, what are you gonna do when you come back again and try again? It's gonna be the same thing. I'm like, I'm like ready for a nap again. Oh, and the trash guy didn't pick up my trash yesterday. So like everybody is just like finding a way to work a nerve. Let's go unbox some packages. I was not supposed to get this. I technically got my money back and they still sent me the product. This can stay at my vanity. I thought I'd never see you. I just am waiting for one more package and then I'm done. I, I'm not online shopping anymore. I love it. It looks really good with this rust color and I've got a matching doggy bed to go with it. So I, I actually kind of like this here now. And then here's my new bedspread. I still need to get another pillow and I'm gonna figure out what to do with that wedge pillow. It's so large. Fun, cool. My trash can from my office is officially here. This makes me happy. So much plastic, oh no. Oh no, it makes me sad. I got some new blue light blocking glasses. Cute, I like the shape of it. I think these are my marble trays. Yes, how cute. So I got these for the bathroom and for my dresser, which is the package I'm waiting for still. I love. Uh... And then the other one, I'll use that one for my perfumes. Now, I'm gonna head out now. I gotta go get this package and then head to rehearsal. I will see you guys when I come back later and I am unboxing packages two and three. Cross our fingers, maybe the other package will show up between now and then, but I don't know. It's pretty late now, it's about midnight and I'm not tired yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the other Amazon packages for you guys and just show you me opening them. Um, I had a lot more planned to do tonight. I just don't feel like doing it. So I'm just not gonna beat myself up over it, but I'm gonna open these packages. I got a rug. I think it's like five feet long. It's a runner rug. 
supposed to run the length of my counter. Hand towels, also for the bathroom. These are Turkish hand towels, but basically it just categorizes all of the groceries into produce, deli, meats, grains, breads, condiments, cans, the whole shebang. And it comes with magnets because it's meant to stick on your fridge, so. And then this is my bathroom set. I keep forgetting, there's like just more things in here. What is this? I genuinely can't remember what this is. Um, I know these are hangers. I ordered some more velvet hangers. I like to use the velvet ones, the thin velvet ones. They, A, your clothes stays on it because the velvet, it sticks to it. B, they're really thin, so they take up hardly any space. Oh, I think these are my picture frames. I have three 11 by 14 posters that I need to frame. So this is 11 by 14. I forget what size this is on the inside, so I'm gonna need to use these without the frame. So I have this poster from the show that I'm in. So here's the first one. It's so cute. I love that it's framed and protected because we all signed it, so I don't want it to fade. And then my other one is from when I performed at the forum with CMFT, Corey motherfucking Taylor. So this is a picture of us on the stage at the forum. Like the amount of people that have performed on the stage it's insane and i performed on the stage that's me right there that's me right there um yeah so like this is actually just really freaking cool coolest thing i did probably in like 2020 like i freaking did this in the middle of a pandemic when i thought i wasn't gonna to like do anything i did a lot of really cool things but like that one is probably the most like historically cool thing i've done because like how many people can say they performed there? Besides like Michael Jackson and like literally the biggest names ever to cross the face of the earth. Like, I love that. Okay, so this is my umbrella lights. And I'm gonna do a whole like separate haul, like tech and home haul, like Amazon hauls, two separate videos. So this will be in my tech one because clearly it's for like content creating and all of that. So it's three umbrella lights and it comes with a travel bag. I've never used umbrella lights before so I'm not even sure exactly what I'm doing yet. The quality feels pretty decent. It's not the sturdiest feeling plastic but here's the thing. It'll get the job done. Yeah, let's open umbrellas inside. It's literally an umbrella. I don't know why I was expecting it to be anything else. It's an umbrella light. The bag feels very cheaply made, not gonna lie, but it's a bag, you know? I love that for me. set up here and then I have these ones over here good morning it's about 8 30 in the morning I just woke up I have a lot to do today so I probably should get the ball rolling I have a lot of things I need to do today um <clears throat> or want to do today before I have rehearsal at five and then dinner at nine it's my friend's birthday dinner tonight but I want to get cute and like take some photos for myself prior because I don't have any birthday photos i didn't do any this year if i can make it all in time i would like to go to the park later when the sun's starting to set a little bit and take some photos uh if not i have my studio set up i'll do it here but that's the plan so i but i also want to wear my green wig but i want to cut it so i want to cut it and style it i have a lot of things i want to do i genuinely don't know if i can get it all done but i believe in myself so let's go i literally just got rid of this many boxes and now i have more i have one more package coming in the mail today and that's it i'm done clothing doesn't count Ooh, oh, i need some like coffee i've been feeling a little bummish the last few days and you know what I need to remind myself today that I am a bad bitch. I am the baddest bitch on the block. So.
So I have this idea and part of me feels like it might be a bad one, but like there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna cut it. Like at this point I don't care. Like if it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. So <laughs> like the, the logic is there for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and start setting this wig up to cut it into a mullet. Okay, so I think I found a park that I seems pretty empty. They've got some nice little greenery. So I think I'm just gonna hang out here because I honestly think I would probably do mainly the sky in my shot, like a very down up shot. So I'm just gonna take what I need. It's quiet. Here's the thing, the sun is this way. Okay. So now I'm gonna head over to rehearsal. Um, I'm gonna change into rehearsal clothes and then I'm gonna change back into this because this is the outfit I'm wearing for my friend's dinner tonight. It's my friend's birthday today. So I'm going to her dinner tonight and now this is what I'm wearing, so. But I have a t-shirt and some leggings that I'm gonna put on so I can dance in that and then Hopefully I can go home and freshen up, but if not, I brought stuff to freshen up with. Like I have clean change of underwear, some deodorant, some, you know, I can freshen up. I can smell good. Good morning. It's my birthday. Go oh, shorty. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. So I'm, I mean, honestly, low-key hungover because dinner last night was fun. And then I went back to my friend's place to kind of bring in my birthday. Um, but I didn't drink that much, but I also just don't drink really in general, so. I am on my way over to the restaurant that we're gonna have my birthday lunch. It's called Lazy Dog. It's in Las Vegas. Um, it's really good and it's very dog friendly. I think they've got like a dog menu and everything. I've never taken my dog personally, but my friend is bringing her, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm excited as heck. The food there is always so good and their old fashioned is my favorite. I, old fashioned is my favorite drink, but theirs is one of my favorites. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I think about this place a lot. So I should be meeting everyone there at one o'clock. I have my reservation set for one o'clock and I'm super excited. I'm just gonna like eat and have a good time and good talks with my friends. That's really all I want for my birthday, honestly. And then maybe I'll go do a little bit of shopping after. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling after because it's in this cute little shopping center. So maybe we go shopping um, and then come home and be productive. Like that just sounds, sounds like a solid birthday to me, you know? Get a little bit of kiki, get a little bit of productivity. I love this for me. So 27, so far we're off to a great start. Yes. So I've decided that I wanted to come to the mall and do a little bit of shopping, but I was wearing these shoes and I got, I went in the mall. I went like pretty far into the mall and then realized these things are not made for walking because they're pointed toe, they're squeezing my toes. So I'm back home now, it's uh, six o'clock. I did pick up a few things at the mall. So I just wanted to do a quick little haul and show you guys what I got. I'm actually pretty excited about everything. So, I got stuff from three different stores. So I got stuff from Eden Sky. I'm actually really excited about these items. First thing I got was this really cute two-piece set. If you can't tell, I really freaking like green. 
and I saw this. They had them in so many colors, but when I saw the green, I was like, oh, absolutely. So it's a tie top and it comes with a matching pencil skirt. All of these dressing rooms are closed, so you can never try anything on anymore. I didn't figure I would have an issue with this fitting. I just didn't know where it would hit on me. So let's pretend that I don't have pants on under it. But like, how cute is this? So this set was 50 bucks. And then the next thing that I got, I'm gonna try this on without clothes under it, but I got this one piece romper situation i've been looking for something like this with like the bicycle short length this one was 54.99 so i'm really happy with how this fits it's always how it fits in the little small of your back because i hate when stuff doesn't conform but there's still a lot of stretch in this like i can still manipulate this as i need the only thing is i cannot leave this all the way down without any maybe some boob tape because i'm a flash everybody but it stays on pretty well so if you zip it up all the way it looks like this but like realistically i'll probably have it unzipped just a little and then i got stuff from forever 21 nothing crazy this is actually way cheaper than i thought it would be i just got some knee high socks or over the knee socks um for tour just because when we perform, I like to have socks cover my knee and then I can put my knee pads under it. I bought some on Amazon, which I'm gonna have to open that package just now, but I figured I can't go wrong with having too many. It was five bucks, but then it was also an extra 50% off. So this was literally 250. That was a friggin' steal. And then I went to Mossy 10, because just because I literally needed some hand cream. My hands are super, super dry. And I just really like Mossy 10. Um, the, the original one smells really nice. It's probably my favorite. It has this really nice powdery scent and I think that's lovely. But it's really moisturizing and I really like it. And the only downside is I hate their caps because these caps literally are so tiny. You can lose these so easily. But that's literally all I got at the mall. I have a package that I need to open. I ordered a pair of heels or heel boots and thigh high socks these shoes are specifically for me to perform in so these are the thigh high socks that i got so i got two of these in black so now i have four of those this box just smells so weird i didn't want anything too high but i also still wanted you know some height they fit perfectly i got a size eight this is my dresser right here it's to take this build it and put it in my closet so what I actually need to do now is go in and reorganize my closet completely, or at least just this side, this wall right here. I'm gonna have to take everything from that wall and put it on that wall, and then put the dresser in there, and then go ahead and start organizing everything and putting them in the dresser.
I need to charge all of my fucking batteries. But good morning. My battery's gonna die. I just changed it. I put in another dead battery. So I probably should have done a better before because now this is technically like a halfway point. Um, but this is so far in my closet. I finally finished this situation. I still am figuring out how to organize it. I used to have my hats in that drawer, but then I forgot my swimsuit. So I my hats are now in here. My swimsuits are now in there. But I actually really like this situation. It's these cute little squares so you can actually just buy new ones of these or you can even like get new handles they're pretty diverse versatile so i really like this um i'm excited now that i have a place for everything oh it's a hodgepodge like i really thought this would be a lot faster than it's taking me but you know what i'm getting it done the right way so i feel like i can say i've officially finished organizing my closet so this is the final look i'm happy about it everything is organized nicely i still have a ton of space for more stuff in the future and yeah so this is my closet so now i'm just gonna vacuum and then call it a day close this bad boy and now i'm gonna deal with the bedroom it's never ending I attempted to record my workout, but I was working out for like 45 minutes and I only recorded like the last five minutes of it in a time lapse. And then as soon as I started, everything was like suddenly on the floor. So you couldn't see me in the shot anymore. But I worked out, I'm tired. Um, I did yoga for about 45 minutes and then I did a 10 minute booty resistance band workout um that kicks my butt that's good that's good i need my butt kicked so now i'm gonna have my protein shake so i've been using this plant organics vegan all-in-one shake protein i really like it well are we still off for dinner tonight are you still taking me go-kart racing going to UPS right now I have a package waiting for me and I'm kind of excited I'm not sure which package it is but I'm expecting one from misguided and one from pretty little thing fun fucking fact they're closed it's Sunday and I'm making today the last day I'm vlogging for this week. Um, I've been up for a while now. I've been out of bed for much less than that. So yeah, I have a shoot tomorrow. I have rehearsal on Tuesday. 
I have an audition on Wednesday, which is so exciting because this audition is for my old job. <laughs> the job that I had when the pandemic hit. It's the glasses and the lack of hair for me. I just, I look like that dude from that one show. compelled me after that workout. I just was like, let's clean. 8 p.m. I accidentally fell asleep. I took a nap, which I probably shouldn't have because now I'm gonna have to really try to go to sleep later. Okay, that's it. Have a wonderful time. Happy Easter, even though when you see this it won't be Easter, but happy Easter anyway. Take the world by its, its balls. Grab, grab the balls of the world. I'm going now. Bye.